One from the glory days now, a fighter from the 80s who has another epic fight to deal with right now. Sammy Reeson was the British and European cruiserweight champion, a steady and popular South London fighter. He turned professional in 1983 and quit the ring in 1989. He fought 26 times, losing just twice, and one of those defeats was for the WBA cruiserweight title against Puerto Rico's underestimated, yeah, go check his record, Carlos De Leon. In fact, he walked away from the sport after losing to De Leon in 1989. And I spoke to Sammy earlier, and I started by asking him why he stopped after the De Leon fight. There is, a, there is a savage twist to this story. Wait until the end. Anyway, here's Sammy Reeson, and the reason he walked away from boxing. My heart wasn't in it. So I just thought, I've had a good old crack at it, and that's enough for me. Because you'd won the British, you'd won the European, you defended the European. Were you tempted at any point to come back, Sam? No, no, no. Once, once I packed up, that was it. I was uh, finished. Because it's a long old career, Sam. I remember when you were at Brixton before you went out to wherever it was, Battersea. Yeah, Brixton and District. I was with Battersea first when I was 11. Yeah. I left there when I was about 12. I went to a Brixton district, and from there, I, I went back to Battersea when I was 17. That's what I thought. Yeah, and had a four senior fights and turned pro when I was 20. And then and then quit just after your 26th birthday. You're only 26 in a couple of days when you walked away from the sport. Yeah, I was still young, but uh, me, I, I, I lost my manager, Tony Lavelle. He yeah, of course, yeah. Died crash. in a car crash, didn't he? And uh, my heart wasn't in it then. I went and see Bruno fight Tyson uh, in Las Vegas. I come back uh, from there and I went and see Frank Warren. He said there's a world title fight for you in six weeks. I was 17 and a half stone. I lost three and a half, well, three stone in six weeks. So I wasn't very prepared for it. But I've done it and... Uh, I can't regret what I've done. But in all fairness, Sam, De Leon gets a lot of stick because he had that stinker against Johnny Nelson, but he was a good champion. It took over Evander Holyfield to topple him, in all fairness. He wasn't a bad fighter. For he him. was a good fighter, yeah. mate. Yeah, he was a good fighter. And uh, I just wish I took it more seriously. And I might have done better, but... Yeah, he was a good fighter. Yeah, he, listen, he was, he was better than people were giving credit for. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Sam, what, 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 so you, you walked away from the sport in 89, it's 20 yeah. odd, you know, a long time ago. Where have you been? What have you been doing? Uh, I've just been totting and doing rubbish removals. And then uh, I've just been, I've been in Bournemouth. I live in Bournemouth now. Totting means you go around in a, tr in a truck or Click, a van looking for scrap. scrap. Yeah, collecting scrap and that and... Uh, I've had a good life, mate. I've had a good now, life. Have you, have you, are you still involved in the boxing? I know I saw you at Gary Mason's funeral a few months ago, but I, I, you know what? I couldn't hand on heart say I've not seen your ringside at any point in the last 20, you know, 30 odd years or whatever. It's 20 odd years. To, I haven't been to no boxing shows or nothing like that. My heart, my heart still ain't in it. I, I, watch, I watch the fights now and then on telly, the big fights, but. Uh, no, nah, it's just not not me now. Boxing. Is that because you you were involved with it from you know as you say from the age of ten and I then suppose. sixteen, seventeen years and just just had enough of it? I just had enough, mate. And, uh, well, as I say, the art wasn't in it, and uh, it still ain't in it. So, so, you, so, so you're still still not involved as such. You didn't go and see any of Gary Mason's fights or anything like that. No, no, no. I never seen none of his fights. Uh, just knew him. I knew him from boxing. It. He's the reason I, I turned pro, Gary. Oh, is that what he, he was a friend of yours? He was a friend of mine, and I used to work on the door with him. And uh, he said, why don't you come up to the gym train? I was about 17 and a half stone. I went up to up the uh, uh, Tony Lavelle's gym. Yeah. And uh, I trained and trained. I lost about three stone. And then I thought, oh, I'll give it a go. And that's what happened. Uh -huh. so, one of my best mates. Yeah. Um, so, 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 Sam, how have you been? You know, what, what are you up to at the moment? I mean, how have you been? Because I, I heard, I heard you had an accident. At the moment, I've just come out of hospital. I just got into my girlfriend's house this morning. Yeah. Leg amputated from the knee down. Uh, wow. Fell on me. A lintel fell on me. Uh, but no, I'm able to get back, back Morgan. Soon. And, and, and are you having, uh, you know, a false leg, a prosthetic fitted? You're gonna, you gonna. I'm having a false leg fitted. It's, I'm lucky, really. It's from, if, see if you put your hand on your knee. Yeah. That's how much I've got hanging down. Wow. From the knee. Uh, 
They wanted an operation to try and save my foot, but I had one operation 22 hours, and uh, I couldn't take the pain. So I just said I want it off. Take the whole thing off. And now, since I've had it off, I've not been in no pain at all. I'm just waiting for the knee, for it to all the stitches and that. They've all come out now. And hopefully start getting ready in about three weeks to have a leg fitted. Are you getting used to not having your leg there, Sam? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it must be a, must be a real shock when you you know come round and you find out you've lost... It was a shock when I, when I had it done. Like I, sit, I, I was awake when the accident happened and I got this length off my leg to walk up some stairs to yep. get away in case anything else fell. Yeah, right as well. And that was a bit of a shock, but no, since I've had my knee off, mate, it's, I'm just. Uh, now, 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 Sam, what about what about now that you've had this operation? You've got, you've gone have this uh, this bit of false leg. Are you going to try and get a little bit fitter? Because um, I'm assuming you're probably going about 17, 18 stone again. Well, at the moment, I've, I'm down to 13 stone. Fighting weight. Fighting weight. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, you best be. Getting worried, you cruise away, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sam, as part of you, are you, gonna, you think you might come to a couple more boxing shows, show your face? Uh, I might do. Yeah, that'd I might be nice. Do. And, and, they've got, and, and is anyone organising any fundraisers or anything for you? Got anything uh, planned like that? Cow- Harry Cowett's doing one with Chris Saniger, a fight. There's a four fight. Yeah. A few of my mates are doing them. Uh, they're selling off boxing. Me and stuff, and stuff that, yeah. you know? Well... Can you do me a favour, Sam? Can you try and keep me in the loop on that and I'll maybe get do something on the show beforehand? I will do, Steve. Yeah, lovely, mate. Well, listen, Sam, you sound in good spirits anyway because I was yeah, a bit I'm worried when I got the message about I'm the accident. I'm brand new, mate. I'm brand new. I've got a few more stitches, but nothing to keep me down. I'm all right. Do you know how many stitches you've had in total, Sam? I've had about 300. <laughs> about 300 on my good leg. They, took, they, they tried saving it. They took a bone out and I've got... Right down the side of my leg, I've got, I've got round my knees, both knees, under my arm, where they took the muscle out of, that's right down to my bum. Wow. Uh, yeah, I've I, I'm, I'm, been in the wars there, boy, haven't you? I have been in the wars, but I will come through it. I will yeah. come well, listen, Sam, I'll, I'll stay in touch with you. You stay in touch with me, and when you've got one of those fundraisers, Harry Cowap or Saniga, I'll make sure I do something on the show, raise a bit more awareness. OK, lovely, Steve. Thank you. I should have some. Uh, I should have some more information on Sammy Reeson's fundraisers next week because uh, so one or two people have already texted in saying they remember him from when he used to go over to Chelsea all the time and he lost his way a little bit after he left the ring. He was a big character, larger than life character. His dad was even larger than life than he was. He was larger and larger than life. Anyway, um, he's lost his leg below the knee, still laughing more on his recovery in the months. And I tell you what, I bet you he ends up running a marathon in a couple of years' time. He's that type of guy. That's the sort of stuff that he does for fun.